No spoilers, by the way, since a certain someone disappeared in chat. But, yes. I'm waiting for Phoebe because she really was excited for me playing this. Spoiler, there is an O. Yes. It stands for Amori. Anyways. Yeah, okay, there she is. <laughs> Hi, BB. Let's go. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what happened, promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you Waiting for something to happen? A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Sketchbook. Take a look inside. Yeah. Oh. 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 Huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Put it up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen. Open your journal. Log off. Spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Today I spent time in white space. Everything. Today I spent time in white space and everything. Okay, it's the same thing over and over again. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Here at the screen. Uh, log off. I'm gonna- I wanna go touch some graft. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Something fell nearby. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, whatever it is. Look into the light bulb, yes! It's pitch black inside. Can't see a thing. That's like the opposite of a light bulb. You know what? Goodbye, cat, I'm leaving you. Oh? Whoa! Um. <laughs> oh. 
Wait, what the fuck? Um. Okay, I'm going this way. Uh. A knife! Got a shiny knife. Yeah, this is mine now. No, get away from me. Get away from me. Well, I got a knife. Time to go outside with the knife. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. I really like the music. Very simple. But... Whoa! Don't worry. I'm okay. Oh, everything's so colorful! Hi, Omori! You're hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh! Whoops! Never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning, too. Hey there, Kel. No need to get angry. It's just a game, after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. Ugh. I want this watermelon. Got stuffed toy. The hero has appeared. Tentacle is poking out of the ground. Mm, egg. Squishy egg. A single bean on a plate. Ha <laughs> That's some fine dining right there. A photo of someone familiar. Whoever that person is, they might have- they must have died. Would you like to make toast? No? A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. A neatly wrapped present. A blender. A baseball and a baseball bat. What is with these eggs on the floor? There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad track. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Well, I got some good news for you, Aub Aubrey. Why would you do something like that? So immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Amori? Pretty please? <laughs> is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the tough, the stuffed toy from me. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! What the heck? Where did you get that? Omori found it! Lucky for me, I've got some real friends! Serves you right, Kel. You no know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. He was the one who was making fun of me for... The mole on my... On your... What? Aubrey? Fine. Oh, I don't get to keep the toast? Okay. Hey, Amori, I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Oh yeah! Alright everyone, let's go see Mari and Basil. Why am I like the only one that's like... Going out, Omori? Here's your allowance for today. I got 50 clams. I'm rich. Oh, that cat was watching us, wasn't it? Oh yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. 
Wait, where's the... Where, okay, there she is. Help me, guys. I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Hell, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. I'm assuming we're supposed to go that way, but I want to go this way. Afraid of spiders. Um, what is that thing just standing there? Sorry, Basil. Hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Hell's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? I'm not being... Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel... Just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me. No, believe... Settle down, you two. Why does it always happen to- Why does it always have to be like this? Get up, hero. Look at you, being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, hero. You know I'm just- You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through this his folder auto album. You want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Kel, I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of the camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own life. Those are moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Sure, I could do that. You want to show your photo? Show us your photo album now, Basil? Ah, okay. But it's not amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This is why, why we all can see. This why we can all see. Oh wait, read? Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crown. Amori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Mori 
Amari and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Everyone's eating watermelon. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her. Maybe someone should tell her. Kel drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Mari and Hero. Mari had Hero take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Hero leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks annoyed. Ah, uh, brotherly love. We're having a nice picnic today. Why does that eggplant have a face on it? Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese! After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. All of our feet in a circle. There we go, the feet pick. Can you guess whose feet are whose? These photos are all charming, Basil. Really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. It didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometime. Hey, I have an idea. Do I want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. South of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and, and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again. Run along and have fun now. Know where to find me. Ah, uh, yes, some nutritious candy. Yes. You and your friends feel like new. No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. I'm going to swing to the moon. Early talks so fast when she's excited. It's really hard to keep up. Hey, Maureen, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans! They put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Hey, Maureen, guess what? I got some plans. Hey, wait a second! Where do you think you're going? leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. So you play with us. More the merrier. You wanna play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah, sorry Burly. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys are trying to avoid me. What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. Good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. Wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, you wanna play hide and seek, Basil? 
I can go either way. No rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amari. What do you want to do? Amari, Amari, my best friend. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. And hut! Alright, maggots, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here in my hands, I got straws. Everyone's gotta pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it, and we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? We all got our straws? Good. Now let's see who's gonna be it. It's gonna be me, isn't it? But well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is Omori. Oh wait, Omori is it? But Omori doesn't like to be alone. You gonna be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. Draws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies. It ain't so bad. Mori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. No peeking, or else. Five, four, one, go! Oh, you found me. Now I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell Burly about this. Got it? <laughs> okay, that's cute. Goes, goes! You're too loud, they'll hear us. Goes, goes! Buns goes! I be quiet, nose! We're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, button nose. Nose, they found us. Nose, goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this is still fun. As long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Boing, it's me, Happy! Found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know, I'm gonna count the alphabet backward. Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, O. Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now. Say something like, Bang! You should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Ah. Ah! Huh? Where am I? I was dreaming that I was on a private beat with servants fanning me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham, now here I am. Must have fallen asleep while hiding. Guess that's game over for me. Ah, you found me. Darn. Find everyone else, Amori. I think this is the part where I need to like actually start like looking behind trees and stuff. Everyone else was like really obvious. Is that a banana? Colonel Banana. 
And then I realized that there's eggs all over the ground too. A suspicious blue mailbox. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> you know, I found a really good hiding spot, but Don and Ren invited me to join them in their exercise routine. Fun and good for you. You guys should really try this. It's really a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero, we gotta help Amori find everyone else. All right, all right, it's, I'm coming. Bye, Sean, bye, Ren, it was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, Hero. guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do a final roll call. And hut! Vaughn, here as always, buddy. Darlene, here. Call. Oh. Ow, what gives? Happy. You're here. Browse. Ah! Bangs. Here. Fun. Fun is here. Goes. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Bell. Yawn. Really gotta do this every time, Burly. Hey, that was a called for. Aubrey! Here I am. Huh? Where's ba- Yeah, where was Basil? I was trying to find them. That's strange. I thought I saw him hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil? Come out now. You already won. Hello? Basil? Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... are you stuck? Um... Wait! <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you! Good for nothing, scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I like that laugh. It kind of reminds me of like the Kefka laugh from Final Fantasy. You stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? <laughs> you bought the wrong person. Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek? I'm the one who showed you how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My, my flower crown. Water. All right, let me take a sippy sippy. Also, oh, hello, Raider. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? Let go of him, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited. Oh, shit! Oh, can I admire this animation for a second? Neutral, neutral, neutral. 
All right. <laughs> Do weakling. Call that an attack? Right in the heart. Hey, that kind of hurt. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. Right in the heart is a critical. Ah, okay. Now you've made me angry. Time for my special move. Body slam. Oh shit! They're actually becoming toast! Omori did not succumb. Ah? How are you still moving? Boss cracks his knuckle. <laughs> Yay, Amori! Yippee! <laughs> Dang, now I just realized that I, I missed an opportunity adding the yippee noise. This isn't fair! Rematch! I want a rematch! I just love how they all turned into like actual pieces of fucking toast. Basil, are you hurt? <laughs> yeah, woo! Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm. I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Amori held on during that final attack, or else we do would have all been toast. It's okay. I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Aww! Is that true, boss? Hmm. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Well... Probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Also, I would like to learn like the mechanics by myself without people spoiling them. Thank you. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I like
like puzzle. Nose is my best friend. Can't say much, but she's really smart. Oh, I'm accidentally clicking that twice. Can Nose looks occupied. Having fun takes too much effort, so I'm watching my friends have fun without me. Hop, and a hop, and a hop, and a hop. Ah! Hello, friend. Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. Rush sure feels nice here. Wanna join us? Yes. Stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Amari learned, observe. Oh! Nice! I'm gonna step on this egg. Can I check out this mailbox? Yes, yes, hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. I'll have you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. Alright. Train station. Go to Basil. Aw, cute! These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's a myth. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. A watering can. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. They're poisonous. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, jeez, what is that? Whoa. What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping all over the flowers. Ah, it looks like the sprout mole is angry. Like us, sprout moles also feel emotion. Since the sprout mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So, what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amari. Let's do this. No one became toast. I found some tofu. Ah, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Amori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, there's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the Faux Facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it through your pocket in the player menu by pressing V. dangerous hostile ugly plant creature it says it is smart but do not believe it it is not it smells like dirty laundry amori <laughs> tofu soft cardboard basic kills five heart i know why are they calling sprout mole ugly A 
roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. If you guess correctly, roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meaning. Pink roses symbolize admir ad admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize pression. Friendship! And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses. Because he's versatile and universally loved. Ah. So the, a type of flower called gladi gladiol gladiolus? I don't know. Gladio what? Also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. What you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Oh! Oh no, not again. This one looks happy. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. Oh, I see. The Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But it also means it has a higher chance of missing. running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Got an emotion chart. Yes. Luck, get right, it's down. Back up, defense, defense up. Some damage to heart. Okay. So basically, that is like. Oh, cactus! Oh, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. More of a plant than a flower. It's funny you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? Hey, well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you can take care of a cactus cow. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome. I love cacti. Cacti are cool. Ah, these are white too. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Up oh, there's another one. Ah, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Hmm, this sprout mole seems a bit sad. Yeah, well, it's curled up in a fetal position. <laughs> that means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad. Put it out of its misery.
I really do not understand why they were calling the Sprout Mole ugly, because these look so cute. I mean, I still would like to find things out on my own. And not have people, like, immediately explain mechanics. came just in time for a lovely picnic. Don't forget to rest here. Everything is already all set up and I even brought some fruit. You wanna have a picnic? Yes. Oh, is that just like a little thing where we just like sit and rest for a little bit? Okay, we all healed up. through the trouble of gathering all this delicious fruit for us and you're just gonna walk on by oh sorry I thought if I like participated in the picnic then we we probably would have ate the fruit by default when your friends feel like no munch 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 woohoo thanks Mari you're the best oh it's nothing I'm just trying to look out for all of you Aw, Mari I wish I could be more like you you always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It's just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortly graceful. Don't you think so, Amori? Yes. Aw, I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. Catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. Soon. I like how she was just like, oh yeah, I'll be here if you want if you ever want to come back to the picnic. Bye. And then she sets up a picnic while we're like strolling through this forest. Oh shoot! Hey there, big guy! Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. It looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Oh, did one of them pull out a baseball bat? Notice anything different, Omori? 
to see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. Using your energy, we can defeat this foe together. Attack and you'll see. bubbles that popped up when we attack that's called a follow-up after you attack for a limited time you can use energy to perform a follow-up move press any direction any directional arrow and see what happens Man, this guy is really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When he, we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a, a chance to make a comeback. everyone let's show this big guy what we're made of sorry I accidentally skipped through everything I was in the middle of uh, talking about something Stab. Dang, it's good. It's a good thing I have this knife. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Hazel, I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know it's good to know how to defend yourself too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. We got a self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide. So, be sure to check it out every now and then. Amori, you should know, when we gain EXP and level up sometimes, we also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember four skills at a time. What are we, fucking Pokemon? After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. We can go to- can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I have to say. Patience, Kel. Thank <whistles> you. 
Cheese. Oh, it came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. It gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. Y'all look so cute. How's my hair? I want to see. I want to see. Hey, Amori, did you want to look at the photo, too? <laughs> too bad it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo, another shot for the photo album. Oh, over, Aubrey, I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel. Wait, hold on, there's no need to fight. Me first. No me. Ah, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh, Basil. I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You are in big trouble now. Why, both of you need to learn how to get along. Sorry, we didn't mean it, Hero. Don't t please don't tell Mari. It's okay, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Aww. Your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, Hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Bunch of potted plants and flowers. Hazel loves taking care of things. Are you ready to put back the photos, Amari? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Darn, I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amari has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out in no time. Can I, can I move? I believe it's this one. And then it's the sleepy one. And finally, this one's the new one. There, good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Hmm? That's strange. Photo might have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. No. Oh shit, what is happening? That can't be. Mari. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Now? Not much to do around here. Wait, where's the door?
I don't like this. I don't like this heartbeat noise. Oh, wait, that's a new one. Where's the door? Are you looking for a way out? There's always one, but waiting for something to happen. What do you mean there's always a way out? But. Why is there a but? Um, I can stab myself? at all of us. Is that me and Basil? These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? What if I change it to a Mori? It doesn't let me. Um, game?
boy's name is Velvet? Yes. House out of Wait, that is a Mori. Table lamp. Wardrobe. An ordinary house plant. That's special about it. Rubber boxes are littered across the house. Hey Velvet, it's mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are gonna be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things you to do drive. Also sorry, mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that a few extra days before we're ready to move. The lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place would be a little nerve wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery positive for both of us. What the fuck? I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Shell has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since our house up for sale. She's been calling us every week for the past few months. A little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. You are hungry. You have no new messages. An old computer. Bunch of books. Mom's to-do list. Don't feel like doing your chores right now. I'm scared. Something's gonna happen, right? Hi, Velvet. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. XOXO. Hugs and kisses. Towels and toilet. Oh, I like how you can see, like, George Washington. I got $30. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a, a long time ago, but Mom likes to keep them around. An empty picnic basket. Dave. Mom's bed. Mattress is far for you to sleep comfortably. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? Well, if you're going to ask me that question, I'd be a little hesitant about it. But uh, I'm going to like. Uh, because I get a little bit of like sensory anxiety like this, I'm going to bring everything. That I will. Don't worry, chat. I'm going to like. Uh. I'm gonna raise the volume though so for like what the So you should all be able to hear fine. I can hear But that whole thing with Basil was like a jump scare <laughs> and that did like freak me out a little bit. Are you sure you wanna go downstairs? No. Check in his head, he's going back up. No. Take it his head. You don't want to look down. Alright. We'll go back to bed then? What is that noise? Well, no, I've heard that noise before. That's the sound of him being, like, hungry. Hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I have to go downstairs. 
Oh! Okay... Okay... Oh, I have to go down. Come on, Amari, you're hungry. In the area red glow right side. Feel strange she's gone to it. Come on. Oh, jeez. Endless stairway. Ooh, creepy. Oh, we got an infestation of wiggle hands in the house again. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You are hungry. Oh gosh! Oh god, a 3D hand! Scariest hand of them all! Oh god, it's getting closer! Ah! <laughs> Those are just silly sticky hands, and you got the realistic hand. I can't run? You want to run away and get me out of here? Velvet? and remember how to calm down. You got a first aid kit. Nothing special about it. Oh, he doesn't want to go in there? All right. Fireplace, there are nails stuck between the brick. Where's the kitchen? Pick up the steak knife. Oh dang, are we having steak tonight? Oh, everything's probably gonna be like all rotten. Find a cold steak. Take it. Got a cold steak. Probably heat it up for how? How? What? Maybe if you're lucky, if you have like a fire stove. Uh, or like a gas stove. Wait. The, oh, it, is the electricity still on? Is Amori just like keeping everything off at night? Got a microwave steak. Ah, yes. A lovely- why would you- Chat, don't fucking put steaks 
in the in the freaking well, I don't know if it was cooked, cooked or uncooked, but like I feel like you would be better off just like heating up heating it up on the stove anyways. And yes, a lovely well done steak. I'd like to eat some. Sure. I I don't trust microwave steak, but Maybe leftovers. Yeah, it was probably cooked beforehand. Wait, I'm still hungry? Or am I sick? Your stomach didn't agree with that. Yeah, uh, no, chat. I'm pretty sure that was like a raw fucking steak <laughs> that he just microwaved entirely. Also, excuse me while I get my Doritos again and my, my soda pop. My <laughs> ah, Dad, my soda fucking froze over. Oh, well, I can let that be boss. Oof, your stomach didn't agree with that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start hallucinating more weird shit now that I don't feel good. Empty. Oh, and that was the last piece of food. the front door. Yeah, no, I can't go outside. Um, what is this? That's the back door, probably. So... I guess I go back to my room. Cory, or I guess Velvet, does not feel like going anywhere else. Do I go back to bed? I feel sick. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I can go vomit. And right into the bathtub. Or the sink. Or the toilet. You threw up. I'll be really honest, if I were to throw up anywhere, I- Wait, what the fuck? Um... Velvet, it's Mari! Finally back home, but I forgot my key. Open the door for me. Wait, Mari? Wait, what happened? I don't- I don't trust Mari. Because, like, with Basil, he was like, oh no, Mari, and, like, I don't know if he meant, like, oh no, Mari in, like, a good way or a bad, or, well, it wasn't a good way. Like, did something bad happen to Mari, or did Mari do something bad to Basil? And I don't know that. So I don't kind of, I don't really trust Mari. I'm gonna... Alright, Velvet, are you there? I'm, I'm cold. So I I don't trust Mari. I'm good. Okay, bye Mari. I'm going back to bed. I feel like something creepy is gonna happen whenever I look into that mirror. Okay, time for bed. I like this like pencil sketch stuff that's going on here. Very nice art. I really appreciate the art. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Okay, I'm just gonna roll this up again. I have to wait for my freaking soda to, to do frost. Oh, the door's back. 
Oh, what the fuck was that thing with Mari? No spoilers or whatever, but like... But like, she was just like outside of my door in real life? And then she was just like, I'm cold and like, I forgot my keys. Is, is, she, my, is she my sister or what? I don't, I don't understand. Let me see if I got anything new in my sketchbook. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Okay. Let key fill in the blank. Is the grass near this? Oh! Encrypt. Where keeps guarded to the right. Beneath a trap door. Lying in a dark cell, trapped in a pink. Oh wait, hangman. Is there a way for me to keep track of this? Oh, okay. Thank you, game. Is that my stomach again? Something fell nearby. Hope something fell nearby is like might be outside the door. White door cast a faint shadow. Turn at the door. Oh wait, I can't go. Wait, what? Waiting for something to happen? Okay, what? What fell? It's very hard to do anything with these fucking hands, like chasing me around. And I just wrap up back in. It. Oh wait. Oh, that. That was that. What's that? Found a map. And yeah, maybe I could leave now. Here. Have you seen Basil? You can't find him anywhere. Go tell Mari you're okay. He's been worried sick. are walking on railroad track. Why was that so like little bloody footsteps. You want to build a sandcastle with your friends? Hell yeah! 
Oh god. Aw, bunnies. I made like- Oh, I made the log stump. And they made a castle. Oh fuck, what the f You are afraid of drowning. Oh, that eye- that- y'all saw that, right? That eyeball thing was there. Okay, let's get away from the ocean. I'm afraid of drowning. Uh, Amori had drawn that in the sketchbook after, like, Basil went missing. Or, I, I don't know what- I don't know what the fuck happened with Basil. I wonder if the eyeball thing will appear if I interact with the spider webs, because I'm afraid of spiders, apparently. Oh! I saw that! I saw the little spider legs trying to, like, crawl around the screen. I wonder what happens if I just let them, like, come closer. But I don't want to let that happen right now. I don't want to make Omori feel bad. We should go see Mari. I've been worried about you. I don't fuck Mari. I don't I don't trust Mari. I have a bad feeling about Mari. Like, why did why did Basil say Mari? Like maybe Mari's not a good person. I don't fucking know. Wanted alive. So, oh, the ninth, aka the ninth planet of the solar system. No reward, sorry. Huh? Basil's missing again. He wasn't me this time, I promise. Now leave me alone to re repent.
hop and a hop and a hop and a hop. to like uh I wanna find those keys and stuff. Maybe I'll have like the tat Oh no These flowers are already dying. Or best to take care of them until Basil gets back. Yes. Green thumb, water a plant back to life in Basil's garden. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. I think Basil just left somewhere without telling us. I don't know. That doesn't sound like so considerate about these. Guys, I'm really worried. Something is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too, but that won't solve anything. Go back around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. You guys are right. Okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the fast forward. seem to be like anything back there anyways so just keep moving Basil is my favorite. I love his green hair. Basil is really cute. Basil! Basil, where are you? I know. 
I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy and go find Basil. Hector. I'm so happy that Hector gets his own art. You tried your best, buddy. This is no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why are you? Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to keep ourselves focused. Train station? Fox walk? Walkie bridge? I like to go to the train station. Oh shit, I got candy? There's those little red dots again. Got, got me some happy juice. Don't accept candy from the strange trees in the woods. Too bad. God, where are we? Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in this forest. But we haven't even searched the whole forest yet. Can't stop now. Cheer up, Aubrey. Searching until we find him. If we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Mari at the playground and figure out what to do from there. Oh, wait, what? What the fuck is- Whoa, what? A creature. Fortunately, I need to figure out where the fuck that ladder is. I don't think I can access it through- I like these shadow wispy things that are just that are just like in out out of the way. Oh hello. <laughs> and she's left. And there's one of those like thingies where that creature was. I feel like that B and A is gonna spell basil.
stuck on everything.
Pretty tall, but not as tall as one of as the one east of the stump. That one goes all the way up to space. You're really afraid of heights, aren't you, Amori? It's okay. You don't have to look up there. He's afraid of swimming. He's just like me, for real, for real. I'm assuming sooner or later he's gonna have to either confront his fears or something. Oh! area. anymore. Is this an elevator? Transportation station. Doesn't seem to be in service. Oh wait, did we go around? We're back at like Basil's house. How's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey, Mari. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. While doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know. Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. That Amori is afraid of heights. But what if Basil is somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know, but Amori, they're growing stronger and stronger every day. You could handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother. Bas oh wait, she just called him her little brother. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. 
Come on, Amori. It's just one easy little ladder. It's not a little ladder. You said it went up to fucking space. What's the worst thing that happened? I don't know. I can fall and fucking die. Amori in like a Yamcha crater. I don't know about this. You think you're gonna be okay, Amori? Yes. Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you're scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Amori. You got some real courage. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go to the ladder east of the stump. We'll see you later, Mari. Bye now, stay safe. Remember, Amori, you're stronger than you think. Is something wrong with Burly? He seems a little upset. Oh, about that. What is she? <sighs> Let me explain. Look at this bowl! Can you believe it? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. The ball is gone! How can you not see it? Another ball is missing. Fun here used his arms and swung too hard, and now the ball's gone up far off somewhere. Never should be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Ben. Gotta use your head. Like this. Sorry, Burly. You see, my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a hard head like I do. Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw the ball flying off somewhere in that direction. To the bat's forest? Ugh. We'll never find it now. It might as well be lost forever. Hey, don't sweat it. Fair. Early. I want to say barrel. We'll look for the ball. We'll look for the ball for you. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Fast Forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time, I even got into a super grisly brawl with this ugly flat creature with dead, empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I outwitted it, of course. Being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in all of the universe that can outrun me. Wahaha! <laughs> Hey, Omori, why don't you and your friends go early and keep her out of trouble? I'd go myself, but... Bon? Rouse ran over Bangs again. Oh jeez, that's my cue. I'm coming, Happy. Thank you guys, I'll see you when you get back. Wait, we're just gonna have to do this? Okay, come on. Burly, let's find your lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're together. Eh, sure. This will get in my way when I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. Oops.
also want some nutritious candy. Good for flipping burger. A 
Trevor Ball played ground tested child Hector talk but is very shy. Friend. Stuff toy, Mr. Plant. Makes a weird noise when you punch it. to find it in here? What if we go this way? I guess this counts. Are we allowed to go this way? Okay, we're allowed to go that way. It's not allowed to go to the train station. Not right. Get away from me. Hi, I'm the Wise Rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clam. What kind of advice would you like me to? Uh, I'll I'll entertain this one time. Understood. Here's your advice. Do something today that you'll thank yourself for tomorrow. I hope this helps. That was a waste of money. Okay, give me bad advice. I hope this helps! <laughs> now I doubt the ball would be here. Thanks, Wise Rock. It really opened our eyes. I want that key. I like the music for this area. Alone, please. We're 
Just a tire swing. I wonder what the tire swing has to do. If it has anything to do with anything, really. That creepy guy thing was that. I want to assume that. Tire swing. Something. later I think I might do this said Omori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. No, don't scare him. You won't fall, Mori. I promise. Oh, gosh. You are no longer afraid of heights. Imagine if there was just like a giant ladder that goes all the way into space. And I know there's a reason why we'd never climb this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well, here goes nothing. Helmet. Ah. 
first.
wait, what? Oh! Oh, am I going out of the campground area? I want to talk to everybody first. Oh my god, that's like the pillow that's in the, the in the room. Hi, I'm Pessy, and you and as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. I've got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I got Sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discography. And anything else you can think of. I am certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. Happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for a meal, but I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier. Couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kinda looked like Sweetheart's anyway. Felt like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious looking person. Alright, good night, Chipmunk. Rest well. Wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, 
starting to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. We got a can. That recycling machine just gave me a surprise for recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. Oh yeah, this is a good beat. The recycling machine dispensed five clams. Doing your part and keeping the environment clean. Pirates has been camming out here for a long time. I heard that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took the ship and took his ship and left. Oh, children, you are now entering the vicinity of the captain of the space pirate, the master of the solar system, the prince of the universe, the one and only Captain Space. I mean, er, they're entering the house of space boyfriend. Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome. I want to be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just a straggler here doing all, all of space boyfriend's chores and whatever. Yesterday, me and, me and the guys spent the day cleaning and throwing away all of the, his trash. Uh, I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Maybe we could talk some sense into it. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space Boy, I mean, Space Boyfriend's got two sides. Well, me. At least try. Never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. Yeah, sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. Oh, thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Ah, uh, you hear is spectacular. have been boring around here ever since Captain Space Boy, I mean Space Boyfriend, took charge of the Space Pirate. I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain ship. Captain Pinkbeard would never approve this. Buddy, it sucks that you have to come at a time like this. Captain Space Boy, I mean Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she Stop coming around. It's a little bit tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in that captain. Face boyfriend, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? <sighs> All I hear lately is the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one that kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Oh, cardboard boxes are littered across the house. I wonder where we've heard that dialogue before. Wait, this is my this is my house layout. Like the stairs, the bottom floor. But then this is just a bed. Space, I mean, 
face boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, space boyfriend! Wake up! Hell. What? Ha! <laughs> uh. <coughs> uh. My precious heart. Aw, oh, you sound so sad. There must be some way to help him. <laughs> oh, my heart. What, where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Face boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy, this will cheer you up. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boombox, it's empty! He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry! Oh man, oh man, what could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal, it's just a cassette, right? Well, you see... Whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one what there's only one in the universe like it. Oh I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. I'm sick. If Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You know, you should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. <laughs> oh, these. My boobies. My massive fucking titties. My super stuffed milkies! My honker bonker doinky boinkies! Thank you, Chipmunk. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when he stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <coughs> oh, sweetheart, my perfect goddess. <laughs> my sweet jelly filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What do we do, Amari? Should we help him? Yes. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. You got junkyard key. He unlocks the junkyard. The special mixtape should be in there somewhere. You can get here through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Would you like to disturb it? Oh!
going to die. I'm not even going to bother using my healing item. I'm a stickler for not doing that. I'm okay with Omar. Game over. Okay. Yes. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna win this. Is there a snack that feels like... Fuck. 
guard can attack when you do. Out attack again. Wait, what? Oh my God. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Defeat the Earth. Uh, can we go save? Maybe restock on some banana smoothies and all that stuff. Crazy. I was not expecting the Earth to just like, wait, it's that Pluto guy again. <sighs> really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Ugh. Ah! You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. Just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What if... What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you.
burp. That was called the UFO, but it was like a coconut with an antenna? My good men, I am looking for some art. Or not, for I will know when I have found it. Junkyard, granola bar. Okay, I can cut those down. Rubber band. Gold lot. He looks like the art fish from that one episode of SpongeBob. He does. Maybe that's supposed to be like a reference to that. So this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. What are you what are we looking for again? Space boyfriend special mixtape. Right oh. Hey look, I found a can. Got a can. Oh, I guess that's a start.
Oh man, looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. Might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. That this big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Maury, you know how you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Tell in here will have their own special ability, too. Although, I'm not sure about Tell. This might be the leader by selecting tag in the player menu and hold Y. images. <laughs> I'll have her as a leader for a bit. Junkyard chocolate. Oh, flower puzzle. Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up the, those conveyor belts for us already. Hmm. Dude, person. Can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Let's have some tact, will you? Now, now, there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Tag me, Omori. Ahem, 
getting you, sir, conveyor belt. Conveyor bot? My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyor. Will you and your friends help us? Ah, mm -mm. nice person. Okay. I got ramen out of the toilet. Ew. Toilet ramen. aimlessly as if it is lost. but like a giant jam? Hey kids, I'm the life jam guy. I sell life jam. Really works. Would you like a free demo? He's gonna attack us. demo. Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I see you're still hurt. No worries, I will heal you. You and your friends feel like new. Very good, yes. Would you like to buy? Oh, this is actually cheaper than the other place that sells it. So yeah, I will buy it. Life Jam. It really works. is really great. Alright. Alright, bump my bump my mic a bit. Um this is interesting. You struck your team. Got life jam.
I like how Kel is always digging through the trash. And we have like all of this happening for a battle. I know can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so much treasure around. I'm gonna swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and afterwards we should recycle them at the recycling machine. I'm sure we passed by one on the way Captain Space, I mean Space Boyfriend's place. Ugh. Get cans, we gotta find that special mixtape and get out of here. Aw, oh, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, think about all the good recycling we'll do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey, do it for the environment. Yeah, okay, getting my rotisserie on. Yeah, look at that tasty trash chicken. 